Today I got some brothers in the house all the way from Manchester, England. Social beings in the house, don't you? Know? Yo, thank you for checking out this video. I wanted to give you three ways that you can partner with us here at King's Dream ENT. Way number one, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Our analytics show that like half of you guys that watch these videos aren't subscribed. So subscribe and turn that notification on so you don't miss a single video. Way number two, consider becoming a patron on our Patreon community, the illest online community on the internet. You get to cut the line for Fan Love Friday to get your music reviewed. You get to hop in a weekly Zoom call with me for Q&A and you get all the videos ad free and all the music early and of course you could always go to kingsdreamnt.com forward slash store and pick yourself up some merch enjoy the video king's dream yo what is going on my name is ruslan with kingsdreamnt.com i'm an artist entrepreneur this channel exists to encourage empower inspire you to live out god's dream i gotta send a big shout out to all the patreon supporters uh man today i got some special brothers with me out here from all the way on the other side of the country not country con not continent the world, Craig. Hey. The world, Craig. Ladies and gentlemen, we have none other than social beings. How you guys feeling, man? What up? You already know who know who it is. <laughs> social. Social beings in the house. Shout so, out to the patrons. Shout out. <laughs> thank you. Jeez. Shout out, thank you. Shout out. So we met uh, 2016. That's right. We did a show together in Temecula. Yeah. And uh, we connected then, and you guys were going under a different name. That's right. Yeah. You guys were doing a uh, hip hop pop yeah. R&B thing. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot more chain smokers back then. It was a lot more on that vibe, that kind of real pop dance type thing. Uh -huh. uh, and we used to have three members, so there yeah. was a girl kind of And what what did you, what did you guys go by back then? So it was 1224. Okay. So the word 12 and the number 24. Got it. And then last year we changed the name to Social Beings. Why the name Social Beings? Uh, it kind of describes who me and Ryan are. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. tend to be quite social people. Yeah. Uh, well, we try to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also, it was the only name that me and Ryan could agree on. With a dot .com and an Instagram yeah, and a so Facebook. It was and like, oh, yeah, yeah. So we were definitely a lot more savvy to like, how do you keep a brand? How do you sure. build a brand? How do you sure. do that? And like motivational wise like social was is encapsulates all our music all yeah. our stuff is is to connect with people all our all our music is for that purpose of like yeah. let's build together let let's do life together so yeah. um that really just said what it is yeah. on the tin as they say in the uk now you guys are based in manchester England. Not London. Not yeah. London. Yeah. Manchester. You made sure that I would not say <laughs> London. I kept yeah. saying uh, London on, on the live stream. Um, it's all good, man. But, um, Ryan, you are originally from the States. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then you went out there as yeah. an adult. How, yeah. did, like, how did that happen? Talk about that. Yeah, it's it was just like... I don't know, coincidence, a little bit of God's plan, a little bit of just me wanting to adventure. I was 18, I started rapping at my church, and um, one Sunday, the first Sunday I ever rapped at my church, this guy was there who had been to England before, his mm -hmm. wife was British. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo man, you need to go to England, bro. <laughs> back just then, like that. Back then I was like, I just felt like Harry Potter mm. in that moment when Hagrid comes in yeah, yeah. and he's like, you're, you're a, a wizard, wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> we did that on the same time. And, and, and like Hogwarts, and he showed me two videos of this like crazy British bands with yeah. like, I'm talking thousands of kids. Yeah. Like it was popping over yeah. there. And I went over for three months. That's how long their little course was. Yeah. And by the end of three months, I was like, wow. You weren't going back. I, yeah, it was clear. <laughs> we were in inner city, like really poor areas, uh -huh. loads of kids without dads. Mm. I grew up without my dad mm. since I was six. My parents divorced. And, um, yo, there's like just like 12 year old kids smoking zoots and, and uh, like a bottle of Stella in their hands. And, mm. and I'm, I'm looking at them like confused, like, what's, what's the deal here? Mm. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I don't see any dads around. Mm. And so it was like my passion with music and my passion to pay it forward because people had been father for me in mm. church and, and in life that I was just like, 
man, I got to stay here until, until I feel like it's not right anymore. Mm. And my wife was on that. She's now my wife. Yeah. But Jeez. She smiled. So you, met, you met your wife yeah, out she, in. She smiled at me, and I was like, ooh. She English. <laughs> she, uh, she cute. And so once, <laughs> once, once you met her, there was no way you was going back. Yeah, it was, once that started taking off, it was like, <laughs> okay, okay. I even said the first day we all met, yeah. I walked into the room, 10 of us in, living in this one house, and I said, yo, it's crazy. Our future husbands and wives could be right here right now. Really? Yeah, said that? I yeah, said yeah. that. I said and then, that. And, and she a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. So It was mad. So yeah, how, yeah. how did you guys meet? So we, on, yeah, on, that, on that course, yeah. Oh, you guys! You guys did the course together. We did, it we did together. That, yeah, we did oh, that yeah. course together. And so, like, when he said that, I was in the room. So it was like, I'm Yo. Ryan's second wife. The first time I met <laughs> Josh, I literally thought he was like, I was like, Yo, this guy's gonna be a big meathead, because he he was like way bigger. His he was just going to the gym all the time. He was super big. Yeah. His hair was like Sonic the Hedgehog spikes. Remember when that was a thing? I, do I don't remember know. When was that, that a thing I here? I never did that, but yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did the. I, I did can't the ever remember that being a thing, but that was like, <laughs> bro, it was big in England. It yeah. was huge. It was yeah. straight Sonic. Yeah, it was. It was Super Saiyan. That's what it was. <laughs> we were flexing on him. So you guys meet at this three-month Bible was like a, training it, type. Yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a yeah. missions training mixed type with music. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So it was mainly like creative arts mixed with. Uh, like some sort of missional Got share it. your faith like with, urban with youth work urban youth work Got it. Now, so you're from Connecticut Ken Kniff from Connecticut <laughs> <laughs> so 90s hip hop reference jeez uh, those who know what know. made what was it about Manchester because this was in Manchester like what was it about Manchester and England that made you want to go out there uh, it was it was just necessity it was like where else I, I, I always listened to black music uh -huh. when I was growing up like all my favorite musicians for so long because I think maybe because of some of the stuff that I went through with my dad like most of my influences musically from from a certain period of time were all like African American people mm -hmm. or African people and there was something about that form of communication that I was like how I'm not from New York yeah. I'm not a, a, a gang banger I'm yeah. not like a drug dealer i'm not sure. and like i'm not from even from that area yeah. or anything i'm not from hartford like yeah. i'm from groton yeah. so it, it, there's crime there like across the street yeah. in new london there's yeah. there's stuff like that but i was just like how do you how, how does a white guy do that yeah. my only frame of reference is vanilla ice and eminem <laughs> and then it was like huh. how i'm not him and this is before people were even saying stuff like, yo, you should just be the best you that you can be. You should stop trying to like be like somebody sure, sure. else. This is back when it was like, yo, you should really try and be it. You should go down the Eminem lane. <laughs> if you were going to rap as a white person, it was like, that was your only framework so that yeah, the public yeah. could accept and yep. understand you. Yep. Now I feel like musically people are... A bit more open now. Well, yeah. they feel like... Well, I'll just listen to Eminem if I want Eminem. Yeah. I'll li I'll listen to Six Nine if I want that wild freak kind of. I like miss Six lo Nine losing his mind. Miss I miss Six Nine. <laughs> Instagram is so boring without Six Nine. I'm just gonna say it right now. It's so boring without. Him. He was wild, man. Obviously, you don't like agree with everything. You don't condone his content. I, I mean, well, how can you, you do? Why, do you want to be a behavior <laughs> management guy? Is that really what you want? You want to control the world? <laughs> Okay, so so oh you go out there and you're saying it's, it's part part necessity because you're thinking how do I make it as an artist? Yeah. Boom, here's your in route into yeah. uh, a whole another scene, really. Yeah, mm, for sure. You were telling me that there was also like the spirit there was different, the entrepreneurs. Yeah, like people yeah, were a bit more yeah. Mature. I feel like there Talk was a bit that. more of a go getter attitude out out in the UK. It seemed like from a young age, people were really doing things but even even stuff like holistically like mm -hmm. from a young age like parents will let their kids have alcohol mm -hmm. from a young age parents will let their kids go out in town and That's like mm -hmm. at, from That's a young true. age parents would would engage their child's mind in like what do you want to do mm -hmm. oh you want to do this mm -hmm. yeah. i'll back you on yeah, that yeah, and yeah. um I just felt like I'm from small town and it's not that we didn't have that. Yeah. It's just that that wasn't normal yeah. environment yeah. 
yeah. for me. And something about traveling in general opens your brain up. For right? sure. And just new to people, people, new cultures, ideas. Yeah. new ideas. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you come from a small town and you just think, Everybody thinks this yeah. same exact one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now y your situation, Josh, is a bit different in that you, yeah, you you had a great family, like you, yeah, had yeah. A, a solid mom and dad, or you guys say mom, mom, mom and dad, yeah, yeah. mom, mom, mom and dad, a great mom. <laughs> um, That's and, good, man. That's good. Yeah, yeah, did well. Like, you did well. I've been working on my accent. Good. Um, your situation, you you had a you know your dad was I had in a broken your life, family, yeah, broken yeah. family. Yeah. You um you have a solid family. You say, man, I love my yeah. family. I've been blessed. Uh, how did you get into making hip hop, pop, urban music? Yeah, uh, mainly because of the Connecticut kid. Um, I always Six loved seven. like G Unit and Fifty Cent and stuff growing up. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of thought that stuff was amazing, Eminem. Um, but I also listened to a lot of rock okay. music, like Sum Forty One, Linkin Park. Oh, yeah. So when Jay Z and Linkin Park did that collaboration yeah, album, that was, big. That was, that was album. like. <gasps> My two music worlds like Come coming on, together yeah, it was yeah. that was lit. So I liked that. But um, so I always liked music, but I never I didn't write my own like bars sure. or I didn't write my own raps or anything like that. And then when we started the course, yeah. I thought Ryan was the coolest person in the world because uh -huh. he's there with the snapback and the, <laughs> like that was just back like when ice cream hoodies was a thing. You remember when Pharrell had oh, all his yeah. ice cream? Yeah, hoodies? yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And they had like the the little cartoon heads everywhere, yeah. or it was like the Jesus pieces everywhere. I had two of those. Yeah, he was uh, doing well. Uh, I, I, he was doing well. He did was, he have a level of credibility because he was American? He was an American kid. Yeah, but back then. see, in back my then. opinion, like so, we've got a song that's coming out in a couple months called Good Music and it's from a rap that Ryan had when I first met him. Okay, so yeah. way like, back. So way I've back. always rated Ryan's raps. I've always thought, yo, the guy can spit. Yeah. But when you first meet someone, and because people don't really, when I was a kid, people didn't really rap that much in England. Yeah. So when you meet an American and he yeah. can rap right to your face yeah, yeah, yeah. and you didn't really have Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, oh, that's right. man, like the, we were talking about that the other day, yeah. how like experience, like we used to experience music artists yeah. really mm -hmm. different yeah, back yeah, in the like, day. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. so you wasn't so familiar. So to meet, to meet like a rapper face to face yeah. was like, Especially an, Ameri uh, an American one, like, honestly, the comparisons that I would get were huge names of yeah, people. Yeah, like kids in school, because we started out going into high schools when we first started doing music, okay. and kids in school would be like, yo, you're just like Eminem. You sound and like Hot Rod, you sound like 50 Cent, <laughs> yeah. you sound like Dipset, and I'm yeah. like, I didn't sound anything like any of these guys, yeah. but that was their framework yeah, for yeah, like but to us, it, But to us, it did. Like because it was just another American rapper yeah. that we're used to listening to. Yeah. That like, sounded like a like a real. That American sound that rapper. had like yeah, a yeah, voice. Yeah. That had like a voice. And like he did, that. and I I always thought he could spit. So then yeah. I wanted to I wanted to rap and do my own thing. Mm -hmm. So after we finished the course, the charity who put on the course, the Message Trust, shout out, the Message, um, they gave us a job to do full time music in mm -hmm. high schools, doing the music, preaching the gospel together. And uh, like I just really learned like how to do a little bit of bars, a little yeah. bit of singing, like yeah, yeah. from Ryan and from some of the guys who were teaching us. And then we just started writing music from there and yeah. doing what's our the, thing. Oh, no, no. What's this program called again? Y'all did a three month program so and they yeah. hired y'all to be full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so basically, that, it's gonna that, be a bunch of kids. That, that, yeah, you need to try to move. Do it. To, do that it. became to the Manchester. model though. That became do the it. model really? after. So, so we did a three month. Training. It's bit. called the Message Academy. Yeah. The Message Academy. You can look it Shout up online. Shout out to the Message Academy. Yo, yeah. bro, they're they're legit. Look it up. Uh, Our friends. But run don't it now. go to like be a superstar. No. I've had friends who've come from the states sure. and they really wanted to like be a big music person. And then mm. it was like, nah, this is a mission thing. Yeah. yeah. Now we do a lot of a lot heavy music focus, and yeah. we would probably focus on the artistry and the craft of sure. song sure. songwriting and stuff like that. But like. If you were trying to go on that course to be like the next big thing in music, it's, then it's, it's not just... that. The course is the course is actually an evangelism training school. Now is what they've steered it more towards. Yeah, yeah. Now you can do rap workshops on it. You can do performance stuff yeah. on it, and they will teach you all that. You will yeah, be in yeah. a studio, but the main stuff will be Bible teaching, sure. evangelism stuff. Mm -hmm. Go, and then they'll send you out on mission, mm -hmm. like during the thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then that you could Regardless, have the chance. That sounds like a super dope. Yeah, it is. Awesome. It is. And it's good year round. For an American, as well. to now go it's twelve to a country months. that speaks the same language as yeah. you and is relatively got 
crossover in terms of culture yeah there's obviously like different things that that you got going on there but right. there's there's some overlap where you're not going to be too far out of your depth right like if you were to go to somewhere like germany right like you you might find yourself like really out of your depth right, of culture right, right. And, right. And, and stuff like that but the thing is is like our mentor always used to tell us um character will take you further than your talent yeah. and that's what you learn on a course like like this mm -hmm. you learn how to have the character so your music might never be huge yeah. but if you've got the character you could be a solid mm -hmm. artist or have a solid career for a long time because mm -hmm. your character keeps you like consistent so and your character's probably also going to teach you some level of financial literacy yeah how yeah, to handle probably, money yeah, how to navigate yeah, tough situations yeah, how, yeah, to, yeah. how to take a no and yeah. not let it destroy you you know because there's a Very lot of true. no's that you oh, face dude, as an entertainer. Sheesh, so many no's <laughs> Kingstream Stream Entertainment. I'm from Atlanta, you throw me the ball and I scoop in the zone. They hit me up for a deal like it's something I do on the phone. Just cause it's me in the studio, don't mean I do it alone. Holy, oh, 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 holy, oh,